Hey YouTube, it's Earl and uh, it's time for another tobacco review. We're continuing on the Old Joe Crans line and tonight, if we can read this label, we are looking at Old Joe Crans Red Label. Let's get to it. Okay, so tonight we're talking Old Joe Cran's Red Label. And this is the one I'm looking forward to the most out of this line. Here's the reason why. Old Joe Cran's Red is burley based. It's got, uh, I believe, both white bur burley, uh, dark burley. I think those are the, <laughs> the, the, the two burley components that we've got. We've got a little bit of Red Virginia in here. There's some Perique. And then... There is my favorite of the tobacco plants. There is Latakia. So with that, let's kind of dive in. So uh, again, it's an old Joe Kranz. And what does that mean? That means that there's been minimal, actually there's been no processing of this tobacco. And I would say that would normally be very, very true, except you have Latakia. So Latakia has been processed. Now my guess is that they've done nothing to the Latakia itself. Um, I'm not sure anybody ever does anything to Latakia as far as a casing or a topping. I think you just add that in. But, um, but, but it is a, a product that has not been, um, there's no casings, there's no toppings. It's pure, natural tobacco for the most part. Or at least that is according to Jeremy Reeves from Cornell and Deal that everything uh, that's in here is pretty much a pure tobacco. So when we get to the bag note, um, as I've said for Old Joe Crans, as I've said for Old Joe Crans White Label, um, it really smells like a barnyard. And when I smell this, I get very light aroma of Latakia. And when you look in the bag itself, okay, all right, here we go. Look at that. Um, you can see, uh, I think you can make out a good bit here of... Uh, there's a lot of Kia in here. Um, let's see if it, you can see it clearer through the bag. Got a little sh shining on from the light. But there's a good bit of a lot of Kia in the blend itself. So, um, so overall, you know, from... What am I trying to say? Overall, there's a little lot of Kia in here uh, that tends to dominate this blend even more so just because normally what you get in old Joe Crans in an un, um, uh, a tobacco that has been unprocessed, uh, it really just kind of smells like barnyard, a little earthy, um, little kind of hayloft type thing. You don't have that going on here. You got a slight sweetness from the Latakia. Now, I've had this blend for several months, and I'm just now opening it. And, and I will say this, that the aroma from the bag even just a few weeks ago, was a little bit stronger from the Latakia standpoint than it is now. So some of that may have, have died off. But let me go ahead and uh, pack a pipe here, and then let's talk about it. Doing kind of my scoop and uh, stuff model. Scoop and stuff. That could be a new YouTube channel for somebody. Scooping stuff. <laughs> Sorry. But if you're out there and you're thinking about creating your own YouTube channel and you need a name, scooping stuff. Laying it out there for free for you. Okay. All right. I've got us loaded up. Normally, I don't like taking a big bowl of these Old Joe Crans blends. Um, they tend to pack quite a nicotine punch and I'm a wimp when it comes to some of these nicotine amounts and some of these pipe blends. And tonight I'm smoking this 
in a Peterson. It's a Sandblast's Arclo series. Oh, I lost focus. Uh, it is a Peterson Arclo XL20. Yeah, XL20. It, it is based on the uh, Sherlock Holmes, I believe, uh, their line. Um, the XL20 in the Sherlock Holmes line it is called the Rathbone. I believe that's what it's called. And Rathbone would be prominent for your Sherlock Holmes people because he was um, one of the, uh, it was the last name of the actor who portrayed uh, Sherlock Holmes. And a lot of the old, I want to say 40s and 50s, maybe even earlier, maybe the 30s. Um, so if you've watched the old, like, black and white Hound of the Baskervilles, I believe that, um, the last name of the guy who played that was Rathbone, I believe. And I could be mispronouncing that, too. Anyway, let me light it up and tell you what I think. One of the things about these Old Joe Crans blends is they light right away. Hardly ever have to do anything beyond my, what you'd consider a false light. That's because the, the moisture content It's pretty perfect. Maybe a little dry just because they, again, they have not cased these with anything. Um, and then I bought them in bulk too. So. I'm going to get one more light going. Again, wonderful smoke production. And if you're coming from the cigar world, that makes a, a bit of a difference. The um, assessment from uh, smoking pipes was that this is a little spicier. I don't know if that means they up the... content a little bit for it to be spicier than normal. That's a windy night and it's in the fall and I gotta tell you sounds in the night freak me out a little bit. And when the wind blows, sometimes the leaves sound like something is walking towards me. And I don't like that. Okay. So, right now, I'm getting a little bit of the lot of Kia. It's a, it's a faint, smoky sweetness. Um, but it's not overly dominant I 
And I'll agree, there's more spice here than normal. And given the amount of Latakia that is here, I'm actually surprised. that it's not heavier. But overall, it's a pretty good blend. No surprise, I like this much more than um, the other Joe Crans. Here's what I like about this. So I feel like this lot of Kia is complementing this Burley very well for me. It's bringing a cigar-like quality to this. And while the Perique certainly, I think, is maybe adding a little spice, or maybe it's a Virginia. Maybe they've added more Virginia to this blend. Um, either way, it's very... Hmm, how could I describe it? Well, there's no distinct Perique flavor is, the, I guess, the best way of what I'm trying to get at. Um, which, for me, is an okay thing. Um, Perique's not my favorite. But I do enjoy the flavor of Perique. Like, when I get a good uh, Virginia and Perique blend and I hit some spots of Perique, I really enjoy it but I don't enjoy the nicotine kick that it gives me. So that's the reason why I say here, I'm okay with the fact that it doesn't really, it isn't killing me with um, Perique. All right, gang, I'm going to mark this one as a winner, okay, for me. It's not it's not so good that I'm going to get more of it. I think I tend to be a more traditional English guy in that I'm not looking for burly in my English blends. I'm looking for Virginia. I'm looking for a lot of Kia and uh, maybe some Perique in there. But normally, my main two components I want are Virginia, a lot of Kia, bring in some of that sweetness, that smoky flavor. This still has a little bit of that burly component. Um, so you still have some of those earthy, nutty uh, components to it. And so that's the reason why I say it brings in maybe a little cigar-esque flavor. It produces a lot of smoke. But you've got a little bit of that sweetness from maybe the Virginia or the Latakia itself. And it all works together really well. With that gang, this is Earl. It's been another tobacco review. Old Joe Crans Red. I like it. I won't order it again because it's just not my favorite. But I like it. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Y'all have a good evening.